Okay, so this is a build which I kind of stumbled across by accident uh, during a recent members only live stream. One of my members asked me to run the Typhon with the Pulsars and the Ghost skill. But then I was trying to, uh, you know, optimize a build and I thought, you know, what about the uh, Daredevil? Okay, so the Daredevil skill, um, you know, basically with this, it will boost your damage up by 18.75% if you have the skill maxed out. Uh, but you can't use the Blackout ability. But 18.75% is a lot of damage. And I thought, you know, how would that actually perform on this build over here? Now, I ran a couple of games. In one game, I believe I wiped out uh, maybe two or three Titans with it, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I thought, you know what? We're going to do a separate video, uh, you know, basically showing a breakdown of the build. Uh, so this is that video. Um, 600 meter range on the uh, Pulsars, five second reload time. And also, I think, uh, you know, in the event that the hazard weapon gets nerfed down in the future, uh, this might be a really good option. Or maybe there are players out there who don't have the hazard weapons, but you have the pulsar weapons. This might be an option for you guys. Um, so we have nuclear amplifier, two repair amplifiers. Uh, the reason why I have two of these is because in the next update, the unstable conduit is going to provide a shield breaker effect. Uh, which is obviously bad for the uh, Typhon because it relies on that Aegis Shield. Uh, so this is going to, um, you know, stack the resistance on the uh, Typhon, uh, making it harder to kill. Okay, so we have that. We've got the Seeker Drone. Uh, this one's going to give me uh, more durability and also strengthen my Aegis, as well as uh, provide a Quantum Sensor, Counter Suppression, Counter Blind. Uh, so I think this might work really well for the uh, Typhon as well. Uh, but if you don't have this, you know, just run something like Armadillo. I think could work uh, we have the louis duncan um not the river chase um so the thinking behind this again uh, because of the change to the unstable conduit uh, what i'm doing is i'm strengthening uh, the typhon uh, by applying more resistance okay so we have resistance here stubborn warrior uh, adamant guardian uh, tough guy and then of course we have the daredevil uh, with the master gunsmith um, so yeah, this build is pretty nasty. Uh, you'll see <laughs> when we get to the gameplay, I'm going to play a game uh, using this build and then afterwards extra gameplay footage so you can see just how effective this build is. This guy better not hit me. <laughs> they have a player back there. Actually, three of them. There's three Crisis Reapers or something back there. Okay, we have to play this very carefully here. I'm wondering if I can get close enough. Uh, there is one player there. Maybe I can lock this guy down. Jeez, the problem is there's so many of them. Okay, um... Oh, and they have a, uh, they have a shell here with... Wait, does he have the electric weapon? I heard... Someone has the electric weapon. Oh, I think it's this guy in front of us. Yeah, so the thing with my build is... Oh, shoot, he actually does have the electric... I didn't notice that. I noticed it now. I thought I heard it. I'm trying to lock him down. So this is where the Duncan pilot comes in handy. Okay, finally. That did a number on me, though. This guy's going to be dead. There we go. Okay, we're going to use the heal... That actually was kind of scary because that player almost ended up uh, killing me. Uh, let's see. They still have a lot of range back there. This guy must not push me because I'm the one that can take out their range. You always got to be very mindful of your, uh, your teammates. If I can take out their range, that is the player you want to keep alive for as long as possible. This guy in front of me, because I have the Seeker drone, I can see him uh, in stealth. I need to target uh, this guy over here. There we go. That's why you got to keep the, you know, your range alive, especially if they can counter the other teams like snipers. So this guy up top here. There we go. Godlike.
I think he's running like uh Is that Decay? I think Decay and has it on a on a Fenrir. This guy got locked down. I need to uh, back up here. Let's get rid of him. This guy might drop down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's do that. Thing is, I can see this Lynx. Okay, we locked him down. These guys are getting pretty aggressive. Another Lynx. That Ming. We need to target that Ming. I can't get him. He's just out of range. Get rid of the uh, the angler. No, <laughs> this guy here. There we go. That one. We're gonna target this guy on the left side. He's gonna be a. Uh, problem especially considering he has um subduers okay now we can focus down their titans the only problem i think would be like a rook i can see a rook becoming a problem because i have to break his physical shield okay, how are we gonna do this <laughs> Let's go for the uh, Shiranga. What is this guy in here? There we go. And this guy, I think that's the Ming. Look at the Ming. Titan Slayer. Although now I have a Rook here. But let's take out the uh, Shiranga. He's almost dead. Come on, come on. He's almost dead. I gotta get him quickly before the Rook comes. I think he crashed or something. No, he didn't. He didn't. Ah, oh, come on. For real? No. I think I got him. No, nope. Still alive, still alive. Yes. <laughs> okay now now i actually need to drop in with my titan because we only have like yeah we only have like four no yeah four players so we're gonna do that but at least it gives you um you guys an idea of just how deadly that that typhon build is if you don't take that typhon out it will like rip you apart So we, uh, I mean, I guess thankfully I have, uh, I have an Eiffel, but it's like me versus a team of five. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go this way. Oh no, that Mender, he just dropped in there straight away too. I got him. I don't think they're going to drop in over here, but it's like two versus four. This guy's trying to hit me. I'm trying to capture this beacon. I wonder if I can go after this guy maybe. If I can get him, then maybe I stand it. Well, no, I won't. Even with 
this guy going. Because it's me. It's still me versus five. And unfortunately, <laughs> we ended up losing. But at least you guys got to see the gameplay of the Typhon. Okay. Uh, let's see how we did. Okay. So I'm going to uh, show extra gameplay of that Typhon build. Uh, we did really well. So it's just going to be the Typhon, uh, you know, gameplay. Uh, but otherwise, this is how we did. A lot of those kills actually came from the Typhon. Um, we also need the center beacon too. I'm going to try to help my teammate um, at center here quickly. There we go. Okay, we're going to move around here. Deal with the, uh, the Dagon. This guy's actually healing me up too. Perfect. Now we need to deal with all of these guys making their way into center here. Let's hit that guy. And remember, because I have the Seeker, I can actually see this guy in stealth here above us. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff happening here at center. We got a rampage. I'm going to use a heal here before I end up going down. Wait, it looks like they got a home. They got a home beacon. Ooh, my health. We need to try to get this guy in front of us here. Let's hit this guy. This guy's 600. Can we get him? He's going to go out into the open, I think. Got him. And that guy too. There we go. Maybe we can kill this Minos. Look at his health. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I think the Rook might be kind of challenging. Ooh. You know what? Our home beacon... I really don't want to ditch this though because I'm trying to get footage and sometimes I have to play a certain way to get it. We'll try to deal with this rook here. There we go. First Titan Slayer. We have a scorpion or something back there. Let's try to get this guy. Rampage. He got locked. This guy's going to be landing in front of us. I need to help out my teammate here too. Uh oh. This guy has the uh, the electric weapons. So this is where the, uh, the resistance actually comes in handy. Having that extra resistance. Although this guy is bombing me here with his blast shotguns. Well, not shotguns, the uh, the other weapons, but we did get him. Let me just use a heal here because I'm taking on quite a bit of damage. Here we go. Rampage! Okay, last stand on him. And just go back onto the beacon here. Look at that range. Yeah, that range is what makes us build so strong too. Okay, we can't get that guy. Uh 
Oh, we have um, we have players pushing this left side here. We got to be careful. Is that a Loki? No, it's not. The thing is, once I get within range, I can see him. <laughs> He's on the beacon. I'm trying to rush here before it changes. There we go. Almost. He almost got it. He's going to try to charge me, right? I'm going to lock him down. Yeah. This thing does a lot of damage. When you are charged up. The thing is, it's more the range, too. Look at that range. Wow. Dagon. Ooh, he's got a powerful build. I gotta be careful. Hold on. He's trying to get through my shield as well. Yes. I think he's going to drop in over here. Oh, no. He's got a Newton. Okay, well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Look at his health. Although, I'm not the only one hitting him. You got to do this quickly. Come on. Yes. 